For this lesson we're going to use a previous illustration created in the tutorial called Creating a Vector Travel Mug in CorelDRAW. Using the Mesh Fill tool we'll create a realistic looking silver bottom on this coffee mug. In the previous tutorial we had just finished creating the mug and colored the bottom section using a gradient. It looks good but if you want a more realistic look the Mesh Fill tool does a much better job. Keep in mind that some Microstock sites such as iStock Photo want you to indicate in the description of your vector art that you have used a gradient mesh so that the customer is aware of it. Using our previous art, make the fill for the bottom part none. Keep the outline. Place and line up the original image of the mug behind the art. In order for this tool to work correctly, the object needs to be simplified as much as possible. I've gone through and eliminated all except four points which define the entire object. Now click on the Mesh Fill tool and it will automatically create a mesh with a point in the center. Select the center point and delete it. Move the object down slightly so that you can see the top edge of the silver bottom of the mug. Double click along the top of the shape. Placing points defining your mesh grid. Make it look something like this. If your lines look wavy or distorted, you may have to adjust the edges more. Select the farthest point on the left at the top of the object. Open the Uniform Fill palette. Click on the eyedropper. Now click on the image just above where the point is to select a color, then click OK. This fills the area with the chosen color. Repeat this process of selecting the point, opening the Uniform Fill Palette, and selecting a color with the eyedropper next to the point until the entire top row of points have been assigned colors. Select and move the object up until you can see the very bottom of the silver bottom of the mug. Repeat the process used to color the top of the mesh to finish coloring the bottom. Once you have colored all of your points along the top and bottom, you can look the whole thing over and make any corrections you may want to make to the colors of the points. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can delete the background and you've completed your vector gradient mesh. And thanks for watching.